Good morning everybody. This is day seven of our fortnight of faith and we hope you've had a great week so far going through all these devotionals, praying together, believing God together and at this midway point we thought it'd be good to take a break from our normal video devotionals for something a little bit different. So what you're about to hear is an excerpt from a sermon by Pastor Matt Chandler. This is a fantastic thought. It leads into a great song as well all around the theme of Jesus being enough. Hope it blesses you today. And he is before all things, and in him all things hold together. Verse 18. He is head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in everything he might be preeminent. Top. Nothing above him. Nothing else to gain. Nothing else to get. The goal, the end, what it's all about is Jesus. Look at me. I'm going to try to combat something as best as I can here. Look at me. Following Jesus is not going to make you wealthy. Following Jesus does not guarantee that you're going to be healthy. The message of scripture and the gospel of Christ is not that in following him everything goes right but that he is enough no matter what happens that's the message of the gospel not that everything's going to be okay and it's maddening to me that the prosperity gospel is so unbelievably popular among people who then have to completely disregard scripture as well as Christian history. Every apostle in the Bible dies bad. I mean bad. They don't like stumble in the street and get run over by a car. They get beheaded. They get crucified upside down. They get boiled in oil. They die poor. And they're slaughtered. Spurgeon, the prince of preachers, struggles with depression his whole life and then dies. Christianity has been built and has carried through the generations on the blood of men, not on the wealth. This is an absurd idea that would make Christ not preeminent, but what he could give you. That is not. Christianity that is something entirely different and it's heresy that would have got you burned alive 200 years ago it's a ridiculous notion Jesus is enough he's enough he's enough we pursue healing maybe we get it maybe we don't he's enough if we don't this is the message that Jesus is sufficient. Like, it, it's all, okay, in Acts, the apostles, they get arrested. And this court says, if you don't quit this preaching stuff, if you don't quit talking about Jesus, we're going to beat you to death. And the response was simple. Do what you think is right. As for us, we cannot help but speaking about what we have seen and heard. And they beat the mess out of them and released them. And they did what? Rejoiced. I mean, they got beat nearly to death. This was the fruit of the gospel in their lives. Beatings. And they left rejoicing. They left. They're going, oh, you can see my spine. No, like literally, it's exposed. Awesome. All right. So it seems like Jesus can transcend the most horrific of circumstances. This is not about what Jesus gets you. It's just about Jesus, preeminent, top of the chain, nothing else to want, nothing else to pursue. He is enough.
darkness flees, your light has won. Hope on faith, living inside of me. The only love that brings my heart to sing. You're all I ever needed. You're all I ever needed. Your love's always enough. You're all I ever needed. You're all I ever needed. Your love's always enough. You're all I 
Always love for me.